Live. Welcome back. Thanks for sticking with us through our uh, very quick little break. Um, when we left our Stormbreakers, they were fighting a battle on two fronts. Um, the uh, attempts to stop Dreadnought from making off with the uh, shipping container were utterly unsuccessful in terms of capturing any of the villains, but they did prevent them from getting away with a whole lot of high-tech weaponry. They destroyed the high-tech weaponry, but they I did 100% still count that as a win that belongs to the government. They have more. Yeah, that weaponry is insured. <laughs> That weapon is insured and is not now in Dreadnought's hands. Um, so that's fair to call that a win. Uh, the other front of the battle was uh, with Lord Quake and a couple of supervillains working underneath him trying to steal all the gems and jewels from the Diamond District. Uh, the heroes were able to successfully capture both uh Gargantua and Iron Maiden, but uh, Lord Quake and Apex managed to escape. Um, How we got Lord Quake? Because I dropped him. We got him. We got him wet. He he was staggered, By the and then sunk into the. Oh, okay, but Professor C peed on him, so <laughs> I still count this as a win. <laughs> he aggressively peed on him. I did. I did. I mean. <laughs> Dr. Irons did keep a cop, a, a couple of police officers from being smushed by a car, so. Um. The second, the nanosecond that um, Quake runs away and there is no threat, I am hightailing it as fast as I can towards uh, um, Overwatch's uh, GPS signal. Okay. Do you, Jesus Christ. I'm already gone. I mean, Maybe find out still... where he is before you run up on him. And I hate, and, uh, uh, do we all know how to contact Mongrel? Um, because we can't sense. contact Raven now. Right. No, that would make sense. Uh, so I will send a message, a text to Mongrel. Status. Uh, Mongrel will respond. Um, with Raven, manage to prevent uh, the truck that was being loaded from escaping. Successfully abducted uh, double time, the rubber bandit, and <laughs> an unknown woman. Rubber bandit. Rubber bandit. Um, the ninja and the time manipulator got away. They always do. We are. We are in pursuit of. We are uh, joining up to continue the search for Max. Uh, you two can feel free to meet us back at the tower. Wait, where's Ethan at this moment? Oh, he's in the octopod. Ethan? Gurgle. Uh, he'll be fine. Wait, he's it. Wait, what do you mean he's in the octopod? He went to sleep, so I put him somewhere safe. Tell them I got kicked in the face, not that I went to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I'd just like to point out that Professor C really doesn't care about other people's significant others, but when someone so much as looks funny at Dr. Irons. <laughs> I think it's interesting that you all think I don't care about people's significant others. I mean, she did, she, or he did, you know, baby catch <laughs> Ethan. He scruffed Ethan out of midair and was like, oh, let's and not I, make sure you die. Let's I wrapped your boyfriend in bubble wrap because and then sent him into danger. he was going to, 
he was going to go into danger regardless. Yeah. Don't that you hurt. talk logic with me. That is exactly what I am here for. <laughs> but uh, I will actually have a look through my um, the cameras in the octopod just to see if Ethan is still. He is there. He just is uh, having a nap. Still unconscious. Cool. Uh, Probably concussed. Yeah, you're fine. <laughs> it's highly likely you're concussed. Fine. Almost a certainty. See, the thing is, though, is that it's going to take, because he's like five or six miles away from where we are, correct? Yeah. So we don't have the time to retrieve him right now because somebody ran off. So. <laughs> well, maybe if someone, if anyone else put any points into a traveling power. <laughs> you all freak out when I jump really far. <laughs> I was going to say, everyone, other, freak out. everyone has a travel power. It's just no one else can cover two miles. As much ground. I will check in with um, Overwatch status. Um, and he'll say, you know, I'm following the signals. Uh, I'm in the eastern. Poof, I land on the back of his speeder. District. Uh, I'm over a couple of uh, warehouses. Um, that's where the signal vanished. But, uh, da! Um, okay. Yeah, you just startled me. Uh, signal vanished after it went into the building I'm hovering over. We'll keep watch here if you guys want to gather up. How far away are we from the tower? Um, it's a fair bit. It looks like about seven miles. Okay. Um, I'm going to pick a point that is like two miles from me towards the octopod and just be and just tell them if you guys want to grab Ethan and meet up at this point, I can bring you in here. Um, before we move in any direction, I'm going to ask Overwatch, the signal disappearing, does it seem like shielding or does it seem like it was destroyed? Uh, my best guess is that it went behind shielding. Okay. But it's a guess. Well, you you know your tech pretty well, so. <sighs> Who can move the fastest? Uh, when he's conscious, I think it's... Uh... Who who that is with me currently can move the fastest? <laughs> so I think I can only go two miles for six seconds. Yeah. Did you say B for say? Six seconds? Was it, what does miles. it say? What rank flight do you what rank do you have in your movement ability? You guys keep saying these words. Okay, the look at your movement. You move. Okay. How many ranks do you have in it? Flying, I have nine. Yeah, you're ridiculously fast. What What does it actually say under flying? I can go a thousand miles per hour. Yeah. Or two miles in a round, which is as fast as Portal can go. Yeah, I can go oh, two miles per round. Flying, I have to be flying, so I have to be ice flying. So... 
Keone, retrieve yeah. Ethan. You do realize that I've never been to your- Yes, you have. I went, Portal took me in there. I've only ever left it. I don't remember how to get there. You had a snowball fight outside the lab. More importantly, you have Ethan's GPS location. Right. Oh, you I can forgot follow about the, that. His communicator. Although it's probably shielded. <laughs> Can't you do something with your thingamajigs in there and make it so I can find him? Just so you know, her technical ability is zero. So I'm just, I'm using. Yes, I can, I can turn off the shielding. Let me know when you have him. And as soon as he dies, a laser from space comes down. <laughs> I understand what GPS means. <laughs> I will poof, poof, off to go get Ethan. Okay, so you go get Ethan. We will meet you at the rendezvous. Okay. Because no, I'm not. not, because I'm, you know, Portal just told us. Really just, just, just follow our signals. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> I'm not a smart man. <laughs> Lord, give me strength. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so Keone goes and re retrieves Ethan. <laughs> Keone goes and retrieves a limp Ethan. Um. <laughs> De deliver him. <laughs> We're out of combat. I think it's... Reasonable Deliver him to, to the tower, please. To the tower? Yeah, well, because he's unconscious. <laughs> right. <laughs> None of you have healing powers, do you? No. <laughs> nope. All of us refuse to be healers. <laughs> Aunt Puppy, there is often a connection between, like, ice-powered heroes and healing. So, you know, you were talking about those extra points. Oh, look at that face. She ain't healing shit. <laughs> <laughs> I came about in the World of Warcraft era where every time I played in it, they thought the girl had to be the healer. So I continued the tradition of refusing to be a healer. I have, I have the ability to heal myself. That Speaking of which, incredibly what does that do for exhaustion? Uh, exhaustion takes an hour of, uh, of rest. Don't you have like first aid or something? Maybe I could I could add first aid, I guess. And uh, healing doesn't work on exhaustion, correct? Yeah, you need okay. to rest to get rid of exhaustion. Okay. Unless you have restorative healing, but that's an extra right. that you can buy. Yeah, but um, that makes you exhausted. Am I, it's energizing healing, not restorative. Sorry, restorative heals ability damage. Right. Don't get me, Ogric. I see you typing. And the <laughs> uh, my hits. I currently have two. Your and hits will go away with the, with with a little bit of time, a, a little bit of downtime. Well, I was one round away from getting rid of one of them. Yeah. So, um, and Doctor Irons, you also have regeneration, don't you? <laughs> um, by the way. As we're kind of on the the motorcycle, kind of like circling or hovering or keeping watch, I'm 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 I oh. might be hugging Overwatch a little too tightly. Okay. Yeah, fast recovery. It, it all it says it's every two rounds. Yeah, so every two rounds you would have gotten rid of one of your conditions. So oh, you should man, you then your yeah. fingers are vulnerable. Technically, both <laughs> of them are gone by now. Yeah, and I think your exhaustion stays there, right? Yeah, I have to rest for one hour. Yeah, to get rid of the fatigue, you have to yeah. rest. But but the hit would go away as well. Which in exhaustion, all that does is just make you slower, correct? Well, fatigue only so fatigue makes you slower. Makes you slower. Oh. It uh, makes Make you... Fatigue. Wait, I should only be fatigued, not exhausted, right? I for extra so. effort? Yeah. I put the wrong done. thing on there. I clicked the wrong bouton. All right. 
There we go. I, I just it. want to take a moment to appreciate the fact that Keone has no hits against her and no conditions. And a lot of people tried to punch her. <laughs> There was a lot of punching of Keone today. In the interest of letting Alex be a uh, part of <laughs> the next part of the adventure. Um, <laughs> you guys can bring me to the tower and heal me. That's fine. I was going to say, Tommy can will power stunt his uh, 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 the nanites in his suit to uh, do healing on Ethan. Oh, right. They can do that. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was thinking they were going to weaken at Bernie's it and just kind of like move his lifeless corpse around. They can do that too. Know Keone, Keone won't power stunt to heal her boyfriend. No. <laughs> I assume her cold hands shocked me out of being unconscious. <laughs> I had a hero point that I could only use for Tommy. So. Well, I was thinking, I was like, well, I wonder if she's going to need mouth to mouth, but like Keone doesn't have any first aid, so she'd essentially just be making out with him, like thinking right. about helping. But yeah, so Tommy will Tommy will use the nanites in the Overwatch suit to to re, re, revive Ethan. For the record, Ethan would have been okay with that. <laughs> of course, he would have. Um, all right, so you meet up at the rendezvous point with everyone, plus Mongoose and plus Raven. Yeehaw! What's up? The one that like did you say mongrel or mongoose? I said I said mongoose, I meant mongrel. Because oh. I was about to be like, I don't like you. You ripped up my nice suit. Like right, no, no. <laughs> mongrel. No, girl. Right. Dead. I've only ever heard of you. Uh yeah, I'm mostly looked at as a bit of an urban legend around here, but uh also fun fact, Ethan and I tried to kill him. You didn't try to kill me. You wrap me up in a light post. I'm pretty sure that Keone probably tried to kill you. Yeah, the aim for Keone was killing, but like we're but... working on it. Uh-huh. Anyhow, <laughs> um so what are we doing? So Mars was um... kidnapped. We followed the sick, we followed his signal to here. Okay. Where is here, by the way? Um, yeah, so you are over a uh, a building that is, uh, the sign calls it the Cascade Salmon Wholesalers. Hmm. Fish! Oh, this place breaks. Oh, lovely. Um, if you, uh, anyone who'd like can give me a perception check. Let us all perceive. Can I do insight? No. <laughs> insight. Jesus. Well, I got a big old 11. I got a 12. I got a 14. <laughs> I got a 12 too. Oh, you should have gotten a 3. I got a you are disconnected from the Roll20 server. Let me try that again <laughs> <laughs> i'm not sure what that number is that's a natural that's 20 a natural 20 oh. it doesn't seem to be affecting the uh, stream so knock on something wooden so okay. 19 uh, for ethan's perception check okay uh so ethan you notice that there are um surveillance and security systems on the building. Like you can see cameras and little blinking lights that suggest that there are, you know, alarms on the doors. Hmm. Um, At a fish market? Well, it's well, the sure, warehouse. It's a business. Oh, the warehouse. The fish okay. packing. Um, although, as you are noticing it, Raven says, there's surveillance and security, but none of it's active. None of those machines are on. That's suspicious. A little bit. That's suspicious. Uh, a salmon warehouse with GPS shielding. Can I feel anything can... weird in the ground, Aaron? Um, 
like caution bad guy base under here. <laughs> yeah. So um, as you uh, extend your magnetic senses, um, you know you 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 get what you would expect from a wholesalers. Um, and then there is a uh, a rear loading door that leads into uh, well, it's angled in such a way that you think it leads down, and your senses will not go beyond that door. There's something down there I can't ex I can't feel beyond. Uh, can I try a uh, a sensor sweep? Sure. Um, just check out the tech and basically just run through my gamut on the sensors. Yeah. Um, so you and Tommy both run through your sensors and you're getting much the same. You can get a read of the warehouse, the upper, you know, the upper floors of the warehouse uh, all appear to be, you know, what you would expect. But then there's, uh, there's the door that, there's, as far as your sensors can tell from where you're at, there is nothing on the other side of this door that is angled so that it goes down. Uh, do I see any ventilation systems, any exterior small ports into the building that one of my spy bots could fit into? Sure. I will send one of them into the building. Okay. And uh, have it take a look around. Okay. Basically, um, heading toward the area where we sort of lose the ability to. To sense. Yeah. Yep. I really um, want to know are your spy bots little flying octopi? N no. Are they really? I was thinking more, more like spider like. Billy hmm. eggs counts. Yeah, I was gonna say that feels like an octopus. Spiders are just land octopi. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sure, and we'll go with that. Sometimes they're smaller. Hard disagree. <laughs> if we're making bold statements, lobsters are just mermaid scorpions. That is <laughs> okay. okay. Um, so, uh, your little spy bot will, will show that the warehouse is, looks abandoned. Um, it looks like, uh, no one has used it in some time. Uh, the, uh, when it goes over towards where the loading door is, the loading door is ajar. Um, so it's not sealed off, but, uh, it's not wide open either. Uh, what 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 can it see beyond that? Uh, it can see that there is a tunnel that does descend down. Uh, it descends a distance of about thirty feet and then makes a ninety degree turn, and it can't see where it goes beyond that. Unless okay. you want to send it down the tunnel. I'm going to send it down the tunnel. Okay. Uh, as soon as it crosses the door, you lose the signal. Interesting. I am going to attempt to create. So the we we get the impression that the building itself is a front. I guess. Okay. Um, I mean, do you? I don't know. Um, it, it feels like if it's if it's empty, and the the surveillance and, and security system is all fake. It feels like a front. Aaron, do I feel the appropriate equipment for a facility of this type inside? Uh, no. Um, Big again, mask, the... conveyor belts, things like that. Um, you know, actually, yeah, I'd say those, those are there. Um, but uh, Professor C. Spybot, Spybot would have uh, would have revealed that they ha they were dusty with disuse. I am going to attempt to 
create a portal peephole. People. <laughs> While the others are doing their uh, super heroic stuff, I'm going to uh, see if I can, uh, using you know computer and whatnot, uh, and probably with Overwatch's help, see if we can dig up who owns this building. With okay. like an investigation who, check, who really owns this building? We're all we're all here, correct? Like we're all in this building. Uh huh. Well, okay. above the building. We're not right. in the building. We're well. I mean, watching like, it from across the street, essentially. Right. Yeah. yeah. Up on another building. Carol said she wanted um, to make an investigation check. Yeah. Is um. My, is my portal able to my little my little people my remote yeah, sensing? So you guys are kind of all running over each other. Um. Where is your portal trying to peek in? Um, it's going to try and go in past that door that keeps blocking um, everyone else's attempts. Okay. Um, you are able to create a portal on the other side of that door. Um, but, you know, you're looking into a dark tunnel descending down and there's no light. So... Anybody able to see in the dark? Anybody got that ability? Mm, I... My spy bots do. <laughs> you can send a spy bot through this. Right, but then we lose the... There's already one in there. Yeah. So it's clearly blocking technology, not powers? So it seems. Or, or at least not your power? Once um... it's past it? Good news is we can get in. The bad news is we can get in. <laughs> um, can I look through? Um, sorry. Can I look through Portal's peephole and see if I can sense any weird magnet magnet stuff? You can look through my peephole anytime. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um... I want to feel if any of those nanites that are inside me are around. So you want to? Let's just establish this in chronological order. You would like to look no. through no no all to feel around in there. Oh, you know. Okay. All right. I want to make sure uh, we're in the correct path. I brought my drink extending your magnetic senses through the through the 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 spy hole. Um, oh, you will be able to pick up very heavy distortion of the mag magnetic fields um, in a way that makes you think that everything beyond that door is heavily shielded by uh, force fields. Uh, when Portal opened the little peephole, uh -huh. uh, is there signal able to get through it? No. Okay. Um, does Overwatch have any kind of dark vision sensors? Uh, he has night vision, but is he able to see anything? Uh, he's like, um, yeah. Uh, look, after it turns, there goes down, continues down about another thirty feet turns again. Uh, it's definitely, I, my, my guess is it's a spiral leading down. And Joe, I'm sorry, you wanted to do an investigation roll like five minutes ago. Yes. Uh, yeah, so I got a 17. Okay. So you're trying to uh, help with the figuring out who owns the building? Yeah, scoping the building out itself. Um, all right. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, looking at the building with uh, your investigation check, uh, you're you're quite certain that the warehouse is a front. Um, probably has been for quite some time. Um, if you want to use uh, Overwatch's uh, onboard computer uh, to help 
look into you know trying to trace back who owns the building um i will definitely allow that 17 to aid uh the the, the check yeah, absolutely that my very smart boyfriend that i'm still very angry with uh-huh oh, uh, no. what do you need for me to aid for overwatch uh also investigation okay Helps if I'm the right thingy. Fifteen. Okay, that'll that will aid. Um, and so Overwatch is uh, tapping away. Um, you know, tracing. You know, going from under one shell to another shell, to another shell. Um, and he says, uh, "Yeah, the only thing I can trace it back to is a." Incorporation called the Chamber. Yep. God damn it. The Chamber. Okay. That's not creepy or anything. Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, though. Foe is opposed to the Chamber. And when Foe attacked Mar Max, we don't know the that. Chamber apparently got him out. Well, yeah, we know it was Foe because they said Foe owns this city, attacked Max, and then started. But Max attacking Mars Mars did not leave of his own volition. He was like m manipulated into it. Yeah, but he was taken to a building owned by the chamber. And we know that Max had some previous minor like reluctant connection to the chamber um i don't think he was a he wasn't a member right but he also wasn't looking to pick direct fights he wanted to stop them but he was trying to be long-term indirect about it i thought it was foe that tried to to we thought it was foe that tried to kidnap him that's what no, we no, no. I mean, that tried to recruit him. Oh, no. Back in the day. No, it was the chamber because the chamber is the group of villains who wanted to turn Emerald City into the nice place they live while they destroy all the other cities. And so when he moved in, they were like naturally like, okay, team up or. We need to go down there and see what's going on, regardless of who owns it. Yeah. So either Foe took over this chamber headquarters, or I don't know, something funky is going on. What is using someone else's cover? There's villains down there, and he punched in the face. Let's go get him. All right. So as I you guys, Seth is going to say, I suspect I will be of little to no use once I pass that door. We'll find out. Um, all right. As you uh, guys, as you all prepare to uh, make your way down into whatever awaits within the warehouse of the that is probably owned by the chamber, I think we will go ahead and call it a week there. Well, um, before we start going down, Keone is going to pull Ethan off to the side and be like, dude, you passed out again? Are you okay? I didn't pass out this time. I That's blew up the a... container, and and a guy with flaming dragon hands kicked me in the face. That feels made up. I promise it's not. Check Professor Cephalopod's camera since he doesn't want to. Bash, Steph he goes, want to oh no, me it's. Up. Steph goes, no, no, it definitely isn't. And a holographic image of him getting kicked in the face <laughs> pops up. Oh, <laughs> okay. Dude, that was hate you talk. It's good that I you're meant, still here with us. Yeah. So Keone is going to be thoroughly impressed that he took a flaming, <laughs> kick a flaming, flaming dragon to the, kick to the face. Yeah. <laughs> and she's going to kiss him on the cheek and then continue down. All right. That sounds like a good place to break. So thank everyone for joining us tonight. Um, we appreciate you spending your Tuesday night with us uh, and our uh, our crazy antics. 
Um, and my players who love keeping me on my toes by, you know, not doing the sensible thing of saying, let's deal with one threat at a time, but let's fight on three fronts at once. Yay. I mean, it was all happening once, at once. <laughs> we, we could, we, should we have sent a text to the villains? Hey, uh, could you guys, you're third us, on the list. Could you hold off, please? Yeah, give us 15 minutes this set and give us 10 minutes. Like, we'll be there We'll be soon. right with you. We'll be there. You got a double book. In any case, are there really any other options? You guys there are plenty of you guys but... are telling me you're not on our email list. You didn't enter the sign up sheet. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. Um, we have a art museum uh, uh robbery <laughs> to break up uh scheduled right now. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Anyhow, um around the rest of the Untold Stories Project Network. Uh, we will have a new blog post up on uh, untoldstoriesproject.com on Thursday. On Friday, we'll have some new episodes from YouTube posted to our website. I don't believe we have anything happening this Wednesday, right? Nope. This Wednesday is uh, an off day for us. And next Monday, we have the first full episode of Guardians of Haven, um, our Star Haven setting, or our Star Haven set Mutants and Masterminds game. And the next part of the USP Earth Prime tabletop universe. And of course, we will be back here next Tuesday for more City of Destiny. Um, Heroes, does anyone have anything else that they would like to plug? I will toss it to Alex. Yeah, um, if you haven't had the chance to yet, there is still 24 hours left for the Green Ronin Cthulhu Awakens Kickstarter. We had an awesome uh, two-part game last two weeks that will be coming up on YouTube. Uh, probably this weekend, actually, if I get it edited properly. And uh, tomorrow at noon, you'll see me on the Win With Dice channel, Calvin's channel, um, where we talk about some amazing public domain supervillains and came up with a couple of fun scenarios about them, including Dr. Dracula and uh, Drox from Venus. Okay. And I'll pass it over to Wiki. Duff. Ooh, Naked Valdi. <laughs> Yes. One more time. <laughs> Naked someone. Tune yeah. in. Uh, tune in next Monday for Naked Voldemort and all of those shenanigans. Naked Valdi oh, and the yeah. Moon Moon Twins. The oh, moon that's cr yeah. Naked Voldemort is creepy. Yeah. Yeah. He is hot. Chat has decided. Oh, Everybody nope. was thirsting over Naked Voldemort in the chat on my, nope. last night. No. Nope. Yep. Hard nope. pass. Hard hard pass. Just more for us in the chat. There you Next. Go. So confused. There's a whole eight pack. And I'm done. <laughs> Brandon. <Yeah. laughs> Read a book. Section is just always going to be missing in really inopportune moments. Mm -hmm. Maybe? No? Okay, just speak. Never mind. I, I, I think I, I, I think Brandon was ready to pass. Yeah. I said I passed the damn puppy. Read a book. Oh. Okay, so play a game. Joe? Hi, Graded. Great. Um, all right, well then with that, again, thank you all for spending your Tuesday night with us and we will see you all next week. Bye. Have a beautiful time.